Hey, what's up, my fellow prodigies? Prodigy here, or just call me Jay. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys on how to motion track on Sony Vegas Pro 14 so you can make text stick to a wall or any other surface in a video. And this can easily be done for quick cinematics or for the beginning of montages or basically anything. And I have tried a motion track before in my 400 subscriber special, but it did turn out that well. But since then, I learned how to motion track the right way. Now, before getting to today's video of new to the channel, be sure to go subscribe and turn on notifications because I do like to upload quality videos for you guys to enjoy. And go follow me on Twitter because I do like that tweet out daily. Also, comment down below if you ever tried a motion track before or if you're just now learning about it because I want to hear you guys that say. And because I do love responding to everyone's comments. And here's a little comment spotlight to Astruco for a nice comment on my previous video. So if you guys want to be able to get shown on spotlight, just leave a comment and you have a chance to be picked by me. And guys, if you can, let's see if we get four to likes in today's video because I do appreciate it but without a further ado let's get into today's video now I just want to say that this is not like cinema 4d or Adobe After Effects as I won't be showing you guys all that fancy smancy stuff with the light rooms and 3d renders but instead this will be an easier route for those of you who don't like doing that complicated stuff but I will have to say that if you want to go for a far more professional look like the motion tracking and face montages I would highly recommend that you learn cinema 4d and After Effects because you can do way more stuff from those programs than what I'm going to show you guys today in Sony Vegas and here's an example for my death montage video what I'm going to show you guys for this video now getting to the program, you want to make sure that you have the cinematic video clip that you want to use and in this case, I'm going to be using the same cinematic clip that I used in my death reaction montage. And by the way, make sure that your project properties are correct and make sure disable resample is on. Now for this clip, we're going to be putting our text in the middle of this flat wall. So what you want to do is create another video track, go to media generators and drag legacy text onto the video track. And just a heads up, you can only track motion with legacy text, otherwise it won't work. But once you get your text on the timeline, you can change it to whatever you want. But for this video, I want to put your text in all caps. Now, if you want, you can change the font to whatever you want, but I highly recommend using the font Evo Gria just because it has a clean style to it. Now, onto effects, you don't have to do this, but I like to add a white draw shadow to my text so it gives the text a glow to it and make the X and Y offset to zero. Once that's done, you'll see that you got your text ready and now it's time for motion tracking. Now on your video track, click where it says compositing mode and click 3D source alpha. Once that's done, on the video track, click on track motion. Now right here, this is where you can change your text and whatever you need it to be. You can turn it from X to Y axis and rotate it however you like. Now when you first motion track, you need to make sure that your clip has a reference point of some kind because if you don't, your text will look like this. So when you first start motion tracking, I suggest that you go to the part in the video where you know exactly where you want your text to be. And for me, I'm going to be putting my text in the middle of the wall. And my reference point is going to be the edge of the T aligned with this line on the wall. And by the way, remember that when you're doing motion tracking, the sync cursor option should be on so you can make changes to different parts of the video timeline. And also, once you edit your first frame, I suggest copying that frame and putting that at the beginning of your video clip so you know where the end result of the text should be. Now once you get your first frame done, it should look something like this, but as you can see, the text doesn't stay in place. So what you want to do is go to the beginning of your clip where I told you to copy the second frame to and move it so it matches with the reference point you made. For me, I'm moving the text until the second to last line is lined up with the edge of my letter T. And just for a heads up, depending on what your text is doing, like if the camera is orbiting and zooming out from around your text, it'll take a long time to edit it. So I recommend using a clip like what I have where it just pans from one side to another. But after you set up your first frame correctly, it should look something like this. Now it's time for the do the last frame. Now all you want to do is click the end of your clip then click on the left arrow key once. Now right here again you want to find your reference point and try aligning your text to that point which for me is just aligning the T to the second to last line on the wall. Now if we play back the video, you will see that we have officially motion tracked our text to the wall. Easy, simple, just like that. Now for me, this only took me three keyframes to work on, but if you have something a bit more complex in mind, then you're gonna wanna work on more keyframes so the text will look better. And make sure to take your time and make good use out of your reference point, otherwise, you'll work on motion tracking for a long time only to realize that your text is bouncing everywhere because you didn't pay attention. 
But yeah, once you're done with your clip, just go render it with your settings and voila, you officially finish your motion tracking clip, which should look something like this. And if you're still having trouble with your motion tracking, just go play around with it and take your time because this is not something you want to rush. Otherwise, your clip won't get the effect of text sticking to the wall. And if you're new to keyframing in general, then this should take like even more time possibly. But this only took me about 6 minutes to do, but if you plan on doing a super long montage with frequent motion track clips, then it could take you from 20 minutes to even more depending on that clip. But as we near the end of the video, I'd like to give a shout out to Vexinator Designs as I learned how to motion track from his video on it, but I thought I would make an update a video on it as this video was made last year and now that I can improve on it a bit and give more detail while at the same time make it simple for you guys to understand and if you're wondering how to get cinematic clips like the one I used in this video I'll leave a link to this guy's channel named Dynamics and he has playlists of multiple cinematic shots that you guys can use for free and if you're not satisfied with that you can easily find them on YouTube by looking up free cinematic clips but I think that's gonna wrap it up now I hope you guys enjoyed the video but if you guys can drop a like I do appreciate the support and go follow me on Twitter cause I do like the tweet out daily also if you guys can comment down below if this video helped you out at all on how to motion track because i want to hear what you guys had to say and because i do love responding to everyone's comments and if you got any questions on anything that i said in the video just leave a comment and i'll be sure to respond back whenever i can also don't forget that 25 dollars gift card giveaway that i'm hosting on my channel will be ending at the end of the month so make sure you enter in that giveaway quick and tell your friends about it because the winner will get a 25 dollars gift card of their choice link for that will be in the description and if you'd like to have a chance for a shout out on my channel all you guys gotta do is submit your own gameplays to be shown in my videos. Just go to the link in the description or in the comments and have a chance to have your gameplay shown. But anyways, thanks for watching and let's get poor deluxe in today's video. Now subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.